Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels, or if you're watching my lifestyle channel, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle channel. Hi, how are you all doing? I hope everybody's as well as possible. And um, today, um, in the United Kingdom, and um, it's cloudy and um, ra raining. It's also uh, quite cold as well, uh, but it's typical February uh, weather. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I'd love for you to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And a big thumbs up and thank you for doing that. I really appreciate it. Um, it helps um, both my channels um, out. Um, today I'm going to be doing Travel News UK 5 Exciting Facts, February 2024, Part 2. So I'm going to kick off with number one, which is uh, from theexpress.co.uk, the UK's best vacation destination, destination named as historical city, top Britain's bucket list um, to travel to. And it is the Scottish capital of Edinburgh. Wow, it absolutely looks beautiful and amazing. And I would love to um, go to Edinburgh. Uh, my parents have been to Edinburgh, but I haven't. But I would love to go. Uh, to go. Um, hopefully next uh, time I um, go to Scotland and um, I'd like to visit uh, both Edinburgh and Glasgow and um, it is um, the UK's dream city break destination according to uh, new research according to survey uh, by uh, National Rail the beautiful Isles of Scilly are, are also in the top UK bucket list uh, destination as well and they absolutely look beautiful and um, I would love to visit there um, the Isles of Scilly uh, I hope I've pronounced that um, right and um, <laughs> number two um, is the independent Heathrow boss um, says uh, scrap online permits uh, for uh, transit pass uh, passengers or UK will suffer. Um, I personally uh, do agree because I, I don't really think it's fair that a, a person has to pay £10 um, online um, just uh, for at two hours in an airport basically and um, moving on I, again I don't think it's right and I think it's um, again a lot of trouble to uh, passengers um, really for no reason uh, the, so um, exclusive travellers um, making international connection in the UK must enrol at the moment online and pay £10 even if it is two hours waiting an airport or airside pause which again I personally don't think is right um, I don't think it really gives a, a very good impression um, so, yes, I agree with the throw boss um, in those circumstances. And uh, number three, uh, London Evening Standard um, trains uh, to and from Clapham Junction is uh, disrupted, admit uh, true. At tube delays trains to and from Clapham Junction are facing disruption affecting commuter, uh, commuters heading towards Wimbledon because of signalling problem I hope to get it fixed by the end of the day fingers crossed the fault means that trains are unable to 
um, use the platform um, or platforms at one to four at the station until further notice means some services may be cancelled um, delayed or revised um, again uh, if um, you're travelling to that area uh, from Clapham Junction to Will uh, Wimbledon um, make sure and uh, look to see if your uh, trains um, going to be cancelled or delayed or revised um, this disruption is expected to last until the end of the day so I hope things are back up and running normally uh, tomorrow uh, fingers crossed and um, number four pin sent um, Masons UK and U EU employers are gearing up for new travel authorization schemes uh, which is really good news I hope they go as well as possible uh, for UK and EU employers and last but not least, Slogan Air expands Ethero connections uh, to UK region. Logan Air will increase its Ethero services to Scotland, uh, Northern Ireland and also the Isle of Man, which is really good news because you've got more ch uh, choice of flights. So I would like to say thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow for a budget travel destination special. Please keep watching and um, have a good day wherever you are in the world and bye for now. Thank you. Bye.